What up guys, how you all doing? It is not a lovely day. It's only in the morning, so it might get lovely in the morning later. Oh yeah, oh. sorry for yawning. Uh, it's Thursday the 14th of September and just gone 20 past 9 in the morning I have to be up because I have a meeting at 11 so this is quick I hope it's a quick vlog so I can upload this but I've had a request from one of my mates um, he asked me to do a video and explain what it's like for me my experience of going through hearing voices if you don't know what voices is um, some people might not know some people may know and like through family or friends or anything basically voices is where you hear hear things in your head um, some stuff for example it could be good it could be bad I'm sorry I'm, I sound a bit banged up I think I've got a cold coming and of course I know what voices are because I have friends and family like it mine we all think even the doctors it could have been stress of what I've gone through. Sorry about that. That's my face. <laughs> um, so yeah, mine started off depressed, de depression, and then I have to have a fact to do this video because I don't want it to stop. Oh bloody hell, I'll keep yawning in this video because I've just not long woke up. Um, where was I? Yeah, so everyone thinks it's because of what I've gone through in the past um, and what I was going through. So it started off depression, I could cope just about. <laughs> Unless things got really bad, out of hand. And then, about three weeks ago, almost four weeks ago, uh, four weeks on Sunday, um, out of blue, I started hearing people I don't know, their voices in my head. Sorry. That was about my medication. Um, people, some, um, I have had one person I know in my head, but I'm not saying who. Um, and I got really scared when it first happened. Um, because I've seen it, it, it affects other people so let me put that on silent um i saw it, it i know what it's like for other people to cope but i didn't know what it's like to cope myself so sunday out of blue i was just chilling at home talking to people and then I started hearing these weird stuff in my head I knew it was voices because I got told what some some voices can say and it was telling me to kill myself uh, because I've got two bridges main road and a river right outside mine 
and it was telling me to do jump off a bridge, um, go in, jump in the river, and stand in the middle of um, the traffic. And of course, that blew up. I was scared. I didn't know what was happening. Um, so I called 999 ambulance. Um, if you're not from this country, 999 is your 911. Um, and I've told I told them, saying I'm confused, I'm scared, I don't know what's going on, and I was shaking. And they didn't do nothing, apart from saying the doctor out. The doctor did do nothing. So, okay, I went to sleep. It was okay, because I was asleep. Then Monday, that's when it hit me. Monday, I had it all day. It was a bank holiday for us. I had it all day. It was getting really bad. I tried everything. I went for a walk, chat to my friends, chat to my family. Um, I listened to dolphins music and enough and play on play games, watch DVDs. Nothing worked. So I kept calling ambulance crew, telling them. It's getting really bad. It's getting bad. It's getting bad. And they didn't want to do anything. I'm not proud of what I did. Okay. Just to let you know. I'm not proud. And then. About 11 o'clock. Or just before 11. I got. Frustrated. Cause no one was helping me. Literally no one was. I was on my own. I couldn't cope. So I took twelve cocodables. Well cocodables is for my back. I took twelve of them. And of course it was cry for help because I told my mum. I said, Mum, I'm sorry, I've done overdose. I need help. She already knew I need help. And I was, I was doing really well all day not to do anything stupid. And it got to the point where I just want to get rid of the voices. It worked. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, it worked. But not full on. So, Mum called Ablers, told them. Um, they t came, not full on though. Um, didn't take them long. They came very quickly. Um, Took me to A and E, or if you're in a different country, emergency room. Um, of course, I've once we got there, because I felt this, and I really went with it. Got there, waiting in the ambulance, and. Of course, too much information, I threw up. With taking a lot of cocoa doubles, you, anyone would throw up. But it, I didn't throw up the tablets. It was just coke. <laughs> um, Coca-Cola. Um, and of course, five minutes after I got there, my boyfriend and his mate, because they lived just down the road, so my boyfriend and his mate came to check up on me, see how I was. I started hearing voices there, um, and then of course I had to stay in overnight, and just for a check up and for to talk to a mental health team. But now I know what it is and that I'm getting the help because I'm still waiting to hear from the mental health team because the doctors have, well the hospital told the doctors 
I had to be transferred to the mental health team. Um, and basically, I'm still waiting for a meeting with them. I may be going on medication to get rid of it. I don't know. Um, but I had it all week that week. And I haven't had it since last week. I only had once last week. Um, but now I know there's people helping me. I'm more relaxed with it. Um, and it's hard to explain. I'm not relaxed because I have voices. I'm relaxed because I have the help. I, I'm getting the help I need. And it took just an overdose for people to help me. And so, yeah, I'm not scared anymore. And I'm not confused. I'm still a bit confused of like why it's happened. Because it's not, you can't get it passed down from a very member of family to another family member so it's not um i can't re can't remember the name of getting passed down it's not that um so yeah um thanks for my mate to ask me to do this uh he most probably will watch it later um So uh, if any if you want more information like update about it once I get more help then of course leave a comment I will do that. Um I'm gonna stop here because it's like twelve minutes in before I get too stressed I don't want to be stressed when I, I have this meeting. Um so please like subscribe leave a comment share with your friends and i'll get back to you as soon as possible ciao for now